Hello, today we're going to show you how to create a translation memory in SDL Trados Studio 2017. So there are several different ways of doing this. Uh, you can see on my screen here we have the welcome view open and this is what you'll see when you first open Studio. If we browse down on the bottom left hand side to the translation memories view, this is where you can create and maintain uh, your translation memories in Studio. You can also here open existing translation memories to do the maintenance. You can upgrade translation memories from legacy formats. So this is if you previously worked with SDLX or Trados 2007, for example, or if you're sent a TMX file and you want to upgrade it to SDL translation memory format. So to create a new translation memory, simply click on new in the ribbon here, and this starts the translation memory wizard. So give your translation memory a name. I'll just call mine uh, English to French. Uh, keep it simple. And then here you can browse for the location where you'd like to save your translation memory. So it's worth uh, being careful with your folder structures, trying to keep short file paths and organizing these really as you wish. Uh, perhaps you'd like to do this by domain or by client, uh, but here you can specify where you'd like your translation memory to be saved. Then select the source language and the target language. And now in Studio 2017, there's a new option to support fragment alignment, which will be ticked by default, but this essentially means that you'll be able to benefit from two of our key new features, uh, Uplift Fragment Recall and Uplift Fuzzy Repair. Uh, so we recommend you keeping that box ticked. Then click on Next. Here, if you're not sure what to do, just keep all of the default settings, but this is where you can create additional fields and settings. For example, if you wanted your translation memory to be specific to a particular client or a domain, you could set this up here in the fields. Uh, but we do have um, documentation on this on our online help system. So if you want to find out more about that, do have a look at our online help. Then click Next. Here, once again, you, ha you can add or edit uh, some of the language resources. If you have a variable list, for example, or an abbreviation list, or if you want to change, some, for example, the segmentation rules. Uh, for simplicity today, we'll just keep all of the default settings. But once again, if you want to find out more, do look at our online help resources. Then click Finish. And this is my translation memory completed and created. And you can see it's popped up on the left hand side there. The other way of creating a translation memory is uh, when you create, you start translating a document. So if I simply drag and drop my file for translation, it takes me to the translate single document option here. And in this wizard, the first step is to specify the language pair for your project. So English to French in my case. And then you can here also create a translation memory. And this is very much the same process as what we just saw in the translation memories view. Alternatively, you can just use an existing translation memory. So if I use the existing translation memory, the one that I just created, takes me through to the editor then. Then I'm ready to start my translation. So in segment one, I type in my translation here. And when I confirm that segment, you can either do this on the ribbon or by using the keyboard shortcut control enter. This has now been added to my translation memory. If I go back into this segment, you see there I get a context match because it's already in my translation memory. If I go back to my translation memories view where I have this translation memory open, you can see that that has now been added to my translation memory. So all of your new segments that you confirm as you work through in the editor will be added to your translation memory. The final uh, way of creating a translation memory or adding content to your translation memory is by performing an alignment. You can find this in the translation memories view on the ribbon, the align documents functionality. We won't go into further detail of this in this video, but you can find another YouTube video which will outline how to align documents 
to use uh, existing content that you might have in order to create a new translation memory.